Oh, yeah, what about spray cans? What? Yeah, yeah. Here, right here. This is a killer. Oh, so now my hairspray is a killer. Yeah, your hairspray, my deodorant, all spray cans. I read that there are gases inside these cans, Gloria, that shoot up into the air and can destroy the ozone. It was about five years ago that I first learned about the hole in the ozone. As I dug into the story, I saw a lot of parallels from ozone to climate. Except that in the ozone story, America led the world to a solution. A long sought multi-nation agreement aimed at safeguarding the ozone layer. That agreement finally has been achieved. I'm Steve Dorst. Shattered Sky tells the story of the ozone crisis and compares it to climate change. A version of the film made its festival premiere recently. With your help, the message of Shattered Sky can make a big impact. We solved ozone. We can solve climate change. This is our premiere. So it's the first time it's played, and uh, thank you all for coming. I thought it was great. I thought it was to the point, very succinct, and gave a really good historical perspective. They did a really nice way of conveying the power of the people through an example that had worked in the past and how that could be repeated again today. It inspires us to take action now because it did succeed. Um, and we have so many people here that don't know the full arc of what happens when you start a movement because they haven't seen it come to its fruition yet. And, and that's the importance of what went on then. So uh, you get a good film like this, it, it presents information fairly and it presents a success story. People see an opening for action they maybe didn't before. And Shattered Sky sort of shares some of the successes of how people can work together and it actually exposes a lot more bipartisanship than I think I believed existed before I saw the film. It just showed, showed to me, I had no idea, but this really was uh, you know, embraced by both Republicans and Democrats. Uh, it's a great message to everybody because they can see that we've done it before and we can do it again. The thing that's great about this film is it tells the story of something something big, some big problem that we solved. And it's just like the one we have to solve ahead of us. So it shows us that, you know, we, we can win, we can solve this problem. Since I started making Shattered Sky in 2007, the five biggest oil companies have made $8 trillion, more than the annual income of every country in the world, except America. That's a lot of money and helps explain why during this presidential election year, nobody's talking about climate change or energy policy. President after president, whether it's energy policy or climate policy, has not solved the problem. The great question of the 70s is, shall we surrender to our surroundings or shall we make our peace with nature? But the fact remains, that on the energy legislation, we have failed the American people. The United States is committed to strengthening our energy security and confronting global climate change. So I ask this Congress to send me legislation that places a market-based cap on carbon pollution and drives the production of more renewable energy in America. Too often in history, people talk but don't act. It's obvious we can get inspired by a time when Republicans and Democrats chose to work together. The problem is that 99% of the country doesn't know about the ozone story. If they did, we would have made progress on climate long ago. Education is such a key aspect of this. I think showing movies like this in classrooms from K through 12, even through college and, and campuses across the country is integral to making sure things happen from the grassroots level up. Uh, National Wildlife Federation is uh, honored and pleased to be uh, an educational partner uh, with the film and, and it's our hope to uh, get it into as many classrooms as possible. For the world to solve climate change, 
will eventually need a global treaty. For a treaty to work, America needs to be the leader. For America to lead, our President and Congress need to know we care. This year is a critical presidential election and an important time in history. What if all we need to do is share one story that shows we can lead, we can work together, and we can succeed? There are three things you can do. Sign the Pledge of Support, donate what you can at Kickstarter, and join our community on Facebook. Ozone to climate. We can lead the world again.